Okay, just a very quick one because this is Ubuntu Kylin 20.04, the latest sort of version that's available ahead of final release come April 23rd. But I just wanted to have a quick look at it because I've heard that it's got sort of a new sort of lick of paint and it looks amazing actually. It's got kind of a deep in feel to it as in the desktop environment. Um, there's a nice bit of transparency there and again, if you just open up say this one. Oh, we did get it open earlier. Let's try again. No, we can't get that to open. Um, the clock there again, but it's um, you've got a lot of sort of Chinese stuff where the translation's not quite there for English. And I think that's been the case for like ever. But I do think I'd be very up for a fully translated English version of this. I think it looks lovely. So we can go back to the small view here. Uh, we'll quickly sort of see what it's installed with. So you've got solitaire, cheese, discs. Is that just gnome discs? Yep. I quite like this theme as well. It's like um. It's almost like a high contrasty sort of looking feel by the looks of it. Let's keep going. What I'm going to do as well, so you've got a taskbar down here. Can you pin things? No. So these are quick launches. Again, I wish I could read this so I could know like what was going on. But let's click this button here. So you get sort of a spread of your applications and then you have your workspaces here. I don't quite know what the um, keyboard controls are for switching workspaces and unfortunately as I said I can't get into the settings because the settings just crashes as soon as you open it so when this has its final release I am definitely going to take a look at it I know it won't be um, you know quite ready for an English user but I think I'd be super up for an English version of this desktop I think it looks amazing um, let's go through here open the settings there so you can get to your network connection settings quite easily um, let's see if it's got snap out of the box, uh, as in Windows snapping. So here is your file manager again, which is just quite a nice looking file manager. And then you can get, ah, so preview pane. So let's see if we've got, let's go on to my external disk, which is this one here. Let's go into pictures and then let's just grab that. So there you go, you get a nice little preview pane there to the right. So let's open up another thing now and see how it, works with windows splitting yep you got a two-way is it just a two-way yeah just a two-way so if you was to grab that and then grab that there it has a little gap in the middle there but i think that still looks quite nice actually so it's got little gaps around it but i think aesthetically that kind of works i like the transparency in the file browser panel to the left i quite like that these are large buttons here for a sort of you don't have to fiddle about and try and find it um i just really like it i think if we could get a English translated version of this I might even keep it on a partition and use it sort of quite regularly so if we try and set the background I think that also crashes yeah so we can't get that open um, but let's continue with having a look at what it comes installed with so here's the Kylin software center which again looks very nice I've had a look at it I know it opens unfortunately again it's not got the English translations there and there's a few things here so unable to install app so uh, this little Android icon, I'm not quite sure what that's for, um, but interesting nonetheless. And then here you can sort of uninstall programs as well. So uh, yeah, I think it's really good looking. As I said, you can do a full screen, go to function, and then you get sort of categories left on your left there, which you can scroll through. So let's start from system and have a look at what else we get. So we've had a look at that, what's Kyle in a system? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's Kylin Assistant. So it's kind of a sort of a cleaning program, kind of like you'd find in Bleachbit or something like that, or CC Cleaner for you Windows users. Let's do a scan. Okay, I think that's crashed because we've just got a, um, yeah, so that, that's crashed. But as I said, this is very beta, so I wouldn't sort of worry about that too much. But like I said, I'm not going to go too much into it because there's not really a lot that we can do. I just wanted to sort of show you the shell and I think it looks lovely. I think it would be very welcome to have a English working version of this with all the translations done. So it uses a lot of the things from Mate. So it's the Mate terminal and it's the Mate calculator. You have the full LibreOffice suite. You've got Kylin Video. So let's um, go on to the About if we can get that. There we go. About Kylin Video is developed on the basis of SM Player. So it's a graphical interface for M Player and MPV. Okay. And there's the GitHub link there. So it uses Firefox as its default web browser, which I'm going to assume is the latest version as well, version 74 or something close to that. 
version 74 so that's pretty much the latest version i think there's like 74.1 or something out now but that's not to worry and again just everything looks very nice i wish i knew what the keyboard shortcuts are um, as i said we're not going to get too much into it because this is very beta and there's a lot of stuff that's not in english so we can't really have too much of a look around i wonder if that's htop so i'm going to install htop because i'll be interested to see how much this uses um, ram wise So there's also, um, there's like a full notification panel. I've not managed to get any notifications on here at the moment though, so I can't really, you have a show desktop button there. What does that do? Is that a sort of night night mode, dark mode or something? Let's have a look, see if that does anything. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, no, very nice. That for some reason's opened up on the different screen. Um, as I said, this is a beta, so you know I wouldn't expect too much. But even the sort of the transparency in the panel, it, everything looks very nice. So let's open up HTOP. So we're using 1.77 gig. I'm going to reboot and get a fresh RAM reading, and then I'm just going to wrap the video up there because there's not too much that we can look at. I just wanted to sort of show you how nice this desktop actually looks. Okay, we're back into it. I took a quick screenshot before I opened anything just so we can see how much RAM it uses sort of by default. So let's um, let's zoom into that how do we do a zoom on this one so this is eye of mate is it i'm not too sure can we just go to zoom there must be a zoom show the image view there we go zoom in control plus plus where's my plus so we were using 917 megabytes at ram it did sort of flicker between about 890 and then it jumped up to 917 when I hit the screenshot so I'm gonna say around 880 to sort of 900 is what you're going to expect at boot but again I just think this is a very nice looking Linux distribution here's your task switcher which again this is very nice it's large enough for you to see what's going on let's open up more than one of something and then see if it splits the windows for us in a nice sort of easy way let's open up another terminal no, so it just gives it a separate sort of entry, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'd, I'd love an English version, so I've kind of, yeah, I've just thought I'd do this quick video to show you guys of what it looks like. I know a lot of us won't be able to use it, but maybe one day there will sort of, it'll get sort of ported over in a more English version and we can use it, because I think this is very nice looking. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.